Everybody else wants to hear them in the shades of gay. I'm your host for this font and motherfucking fat real this motherfucking one someone ends up how the fuck are you doing? Um I did have a question left on my video um from a couple weeks ago. Um and uh I believe JJ asked it actually in regards to if I have heard anything from uh one of my friends in which I consider a brother really, I consider him a family member. I mean um but my friend was, well, is, Palestinian, Arab, and Islamic. Um, and uh, on my last trip to Palestine, I went um, with him to go to um, his uh, parents' uh, place in Palestine. They live in Palestine, um, just outside of uh, Nablus. But, uh, a friend and his father were kidnapped um, by a foreign government and their military um, from their own home, from their beds as they slept. Um, I have not heard anything from my friend. Um, I was on the phone a couple of days ago with um, my friend's mother um, via the uh, telephone and uh, well, Skype technically um, and she hasn't heard anything from her son, my friend, my 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 brother as well, or uh, her husband. Um, we don't know if they're alive. We don't know where they are. We don't know if they've been charged with anything. We don't know how they've been treated, how they're being treated. We don't know anything. Um, and uh, sadly to say that this is kind of the normal trend. Um, in these cases, sometimes it takes months if not years before the families ever hear from their loved ones when they're taken in this manner um, but I will say this um, come January 3rd the first well sometime in the first week in January I should say um, I'm going back and uh, I'm staying there until my friend and his father get to embrace their family again physically that may be a couple months that may be a year two three four five I don't know but uh, I've made that decision and I've contemplated on it quite a bit and I think it's the right thing to do I know it's the right thing to do I feel in my heart that it is the right thing to do um, so, but in regards to an update, I don't know anything and neither does, um, that poor woman. What really gets me about this is, uh, this woman, I mean, my, 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 my friend's mother is such a kind hearted, you know, woman. I mean, she doesn't deserve to feel this type of pain. She hasn't harmed anyone. She hasn't done anything wrong. And now she has to carry on without being able to embrace her son and hug her son and talk to her son, to hug her husband, to talk to her husband. Now a little a little girl grows up without an older brother and without a father. I mean, it just breaks my fucking heart. And knowing that my friend and his father were kidnapped by a foreign government and a foreign military even pisses me off even more. Um, I will say this, um, December 4th, there is an annual meeting um, in Sacramento, California, that is hosted by uh, IPAC, which is one of the largest Israeli lobby organizations in the U.S., and for damn sure I will be there protesting against them. Because U.S. funds go towards the actions in which or oppressive when we fund governments that engage in kidnapping and restricting of movement we're funding terrorism flat out terrorism and we're supposed to be fighting this shit we're the biggest hypocrites on the earth the United States of America is completely in my opinion in other news, 
um, the Occupy camp across the bay from here uh, got raided again by the chief of police, the Oakland police, and with the order of Mayor Kwan. Yeah, um, Mayor Kwan's political career in the Bay Area is pretty much over, and if she had any any dignity left in her body, she would resign immediately, as well with the uh, chief of police of OPD and the, the chief of police for the Bay Area Rapid Transit Authority. The corruption plaguing this region right now of California is astoundingly amazing and yet you sit the city officials and those in office and in power wonder why people are taking to the streets and occupying and gathering and marching come on people can only be pushed and shoved so far until they say enough and stand up and fight back and reclaim their cities, their communities, their states. Other than that, I'd like to say to those of you who are thinking of voting for Barack Obama, please reconsider. Isn't it time that we finally craft a party that actually reflects the people of this country because the Democrats sure as hell do not reflect the views of America neither do the Republicans on a gay note I did go see a uh, well a re-air a gorilla screening if you will of a documentary about the um, queer um, community that is emerging um, specifically in Egypt and uh, it was a amazing documentary I'm having a brain fart of what the title was at this moment because I um, before I decided to make this video I decided to smoke two bowls and eat a pot brownie so pardon me if the Thing with the title slips my mind. Um, when I remember it, I'll post it down in the description bar and you can check it out. Um, if I remember to post it down in the description bar. Um, anyway, it was an amazing movie, um, documentary, I should say. And um, I'm sorry, my videos have been kind of very, like, out there, busy, whatever you want to call it. I've just been so fucking occupied with Occupy. Um, and just kind of contemplating a few decisions that I've been, you know, you know, kind of just pondering, like, for the instance, um, for a while I've been contemplating whether or not to move to Palestine, um, especially in light of what happened the last time I was over there, and, um, as I've stated, come January, I'm gone, I'm going to be over there for as long as it takes to ensure that my friend is alive and that he is safe and that he is, um, you know, again, allowed to embrace his family and embrace his mother and sister and that him, along with his father, are freed. And, you know, some people may say I'm crazy for doing it, but Palestine holds a very special place in my heart. Um, I have so much love, so much respect um, for these people, and to me this is not personal. I mean, they have someone who I care about. Someone who I care about is in custody of a foreign government for doing nothing wrong other than being Palestinian and being Arab and being Islamic. Apparently it's a crime now. And that's the other thing that, that, that kind of terrifies me in our country is the fear of Islam. If you compare the, the religion of Islam to the religion of Christianity, and, and if you compare and if you, you compare the Quran to the four Christian texts, you talk about encouraging violence and brutality. 
Christianity is far more violent and encourages far more violence. And I love it when Christians say that Christians are as if innocent, as if they haven't done anything wrong. You know, I remember, oh yeah, who was it that shot an abortion doctor in church? Yeah, oh, that was a Christian fundamentalist who happened to be pro-choice. Oh, who are the idiots that over, you know, last summer and summers prior to that burnt down mosques and spray-painted anti-Islamic messages on mosques? Oh yeah, um, Christian fundamentalist so-called American patriots. Who got all pissy and bitchy when a community center wanted to be built in Manhattan? Oh yeah, Christian fundamentalists and so-called American patriots saying that Islam spreads hate. The only hate I've seen being spread around this country is from Christian fundamentalist and self-professed American patriots. So, why don't you look yourself in the damn mirror and stop obsessing over someone else's religious choice and worry about your damn self. If you're so holier than fucking now, stop trying to tell people where they can and cannot build places of worship and what gods that they can and cannot pray to. If you're white and you're European, you ought to be ashamed of yourself right now, you motherfuckers, because your fucking ancestors fled for religious freedom because they were being prosecuted. And now you motherfuckers are trying to prosecute people who are Islamic for wanting to pray and build places of worship. You're a bunch of fucking hypocrites. You ought to be ashamed of yourself and you are a disgrace to the human race and to America. You are trying to impose a means of Christian theocracy upon people to telling gays that they don't have they don't have the opportunity and they don't deserve to be treated equally and fairly. Fuck you. You talk about freedom, yet you say women should not have the right to control their own fucking bodies. Really? You say that you love everybody, but yet anyone who has a, a different varying means of religion is fake, possessed by Satan or demonic. Jesus fucking Christ. You want to know what the real threat to America is? It's not Islam. It's, it, is not pe it, it is not the religion of Islam. It is not Islamic people. It isn't even Arabs. It is domestic Christian fundamentalists. That's the real threat to our country and to our freedom. Not Islam. But see, most Americans prefer to live in an ignorant reality, a, a means of delusion, thinking to themselves that, you know what, I'm just going to be told what to believe. But I, I propose a challenge to anyone who's watching this who may or, or, or may not agree with me. I dare you to read the Quran from end to end end to end and then read all four Christian texts and then compare them side by side note by note line by fucking line okay and then tell me what religion advocates more oppression violence and bloodshed and which one has been responsible for more of it Food for thought. Anyway, to end on a more happier gay note, um, I have found a new, uh, well, I've been dating this guy now for a couple of weeks now. Kind of cool, I actually met him at a demonstration. And, um, yeah, we'll see where that goes. Anyway, take care. Hopefully I'll see you next Wednesday, but knock on wood, I won't be in jail. But you never know with San Francisco PD and our illustrious fuckhead of a mayor. So knock on wood. I don't have any wood around me. I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye.